Other news now, the FAA says it still has no timeline as to when the Boeing 737 MAX will be allowed to fly again, although Boeing hopes the grounding will end this fall. King 5's aviation specialist Glenn Farley tonight on the hearings today that grilled the FAA chief on the way it signs off on new jets. It is not about doing things on the quick. It is about doing things deliberately and getting safety right. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell co-sponsoring bipartisan legislation to increase direct FAA oversight in the way airplanes like the Boeing 737 MAX are approved to fly. In other words, certification. It's actually a higher bar than compliance. Uh, compliance with individual rules uh, does not uh, necessarily produce a safe outcome, and that's what we're, we're trying to deal with. In the wake of two 737 MAX crashes, one in late 2018, the other in March of 2019, more than 800 MAX jets are grounded, more than half of those built by Boeing that the company cannot yet deliver. The FAA criticized for delegating too much of the certification work to Boeing's own engineers tasked with acting on the government's behalf. At times, things become contentious. Okay, so I don't want to be stonewalled here. Do you believe the FAA should retain and appoint these individuals and oversee them in the process, yes or no? I, it's not something that, uh, that we, we certainly approve their qualifications. And but behind Dick's in the ever-present family photos of the 346 people who died in those two crashes, including Michael Stumo, who lost his daughter on Ethiopian Flight 302. Congress must require that FAA do its job with safety-critical systems, that they retain and not delegate authority over safety-critical systems. Then there's the FAA working with Boeing to try and lift the grounding of the 737 MAX in a review process that has become much more involved, involving more things on the flight deck than the original indications that investigators got out of those two accidents. In Renton, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, thank you.